Madrid is to impose restrictions on the sale of complex bank products to retail investors to avoid abuses and scandals like the one involving preferred securities, which has tied up the savings of more than one million people in Spain. A year ago, the Spanish banking system had 22.5 billion euros in these financial products, which never expire or reach maturity and are not designed for the novice investor. Banks will now be required to get the consent of investors in writing, and in some cases, customers will have to make a minimum investment of 100,000 euros to buy the products, Economy Minister Luis Dinguindo said in an interview with EFE. These products often are for sophisticated investors. They're not to be placed in the banking networks. The banks will have to create a list of complex products so that the public may know that there are some products that, by their nature, are not the most appropriate for the normal person. Thousands demonstrated at the weekend in the northern city of San Genjo, where the Spanish Prime Minister is spending his summer vacation. It was just one of many protests being organized by duped investors. The Spanish government is determined not to allow a repeat of the scandal, whereby some of the banks peddled preferred shares, bonds, and other securities to customers with the story that they were as secure as CDs and other deposit accounts. Often, the securities were sold to the customers without their knowledge and or consent. 